Tuesday, June 25th, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, what you're about to see here in this video occurs probably on a daily basis but goes unnoticed. You're looking at a very rare capture of a large belide over the Caribbean Sea that occurred a little over 72 hours ago. That flash right there. I'm going to zoom in on it, going to show you the smoke trail it left in the sky. It probably created seismic waves throughout the ocean. It wasn't anywhere near land, so there were no witnesses other than the satellite you're looking at. And this is a lightning map satellite. There's an article here at IMO.net. This is the International Meteor Organization. It goes on to say fireball over the Caribbean detected before it entered. And it was, in fact, detected by the RAMMB satellite that you can see right here. I've put together a small slideshow that I'm going to show you guys of this thing in different filters up close and in slow motion. You're going to be able to see the lines of smoke it left in the sky. Once again, this was not witnessed by people. It occurred on Saturday, June 22nd, a little over 72 hours ago. You can see that pulse right there in the Caribbean. Here I zoom in close. Actually, this was rather large. Larger than three humans, about the size of an SUV, maybe a small bus. If it would have entered over land, it would have been a spectacular show. Vibrated homes, vibrated the ground. You can see right there that large flash. You got to keep in mind, this satellite is a few hundred miles up in the air above planet Earth. And here it is in a different filter once again. See that big flash? See the lines right there? Let me pause it. You can see the lines actually separate into two. It goes from one line right there. And you can see right there it becomes two as the belide separated into two independent pieces. Probably more than that. That was just the two larger pieces that left a trail in the sky right there. So a huge belide entered the Caribbean on Saturday, June 22nd. And this is probably something that occurs all the time. We just don't know about it. it. Just so happened that this satellite did happen to pick up the energy from this very good sized belide. Once again, it was about four and a half meters in size. That's around 15 feet, about the size of three human beings stacked on top of each other. If we look at the IMO website, they kind of give some statistics about this very large encounter that Earth uh, had with this belide the other night. And there's a rough idea of approximately how big this thing was. Six foot, around 15 feet, or four and a half meters, June 22nd, 2019. Once again, very large belide entered Earth's atmosphere, the Caribbean Sea. Right now, as I do this video, there's some very tall, towering supercell thunderstorms going through Nebraska, Kansas, into Iowa, parts of Missouri. Omaha and Kansas, they're seeing more rain. These storms are right now probably producing very large hail, rainfall rates exceeding that of one inch or two inches per hour, and they do not need any more rain right here. In fact, farmers are having a hard time getting crops into the fields, so the rain that they're getting right now is the last thing they need, but it's pouring down rain. These storms are very tall, like I said earlier, According to this radar, this is the GO-16. These are very tall, towering uh, supercells that are reaching 40 and, in some cases, 50,000 foot tall. Here's a slideshow I put together of some recent videos and pictures that have been sent in. This is just a very small sample of what's been sent in. I've got a lot more emails to get through. Video here sent in by Steve from West Phoenix. I've got another spectacular double rainbow. Like I said in many videos before, we're seeing these pretty much on a daily basis anymore. And I don't remember ever seeing those as a kid growing up. Colorful clouds around the sun up in the sky from Katy, Texas. Photograph sent in by Jesse. And the next photo was referred by Inga from Avondale, Arizona. Her friend Brian noticed this awesome sunset from Arkansas. Actually, Wilson, Arkansas. He took the photograph, shared it with her, and... She suggested that he send it to me, and it was an exceptional photograph that we are sharing in this video. Kansas, Appy Rider. Some sort of a strange cloud in the sky, not something you see every day. I don't even know how to begin to describe that. It's the leading edge or the back edge of some sort of a weird thunderstorm. This photograph here, the gentleman said it stayed above his house for two hours. You can see what looks like the outline of some sort of a craft. At least that's how he described what he saw. 
And like I said earlier, he see he said this did not move for the better part of two hours. Stayed positioned right above his neighborhood. This next photograph you're looking at is an example of electric blue clouds. There's been an outbreak worldwide of these rare clouds. They're called noctilucent clouds scientifically, electric blue. They're very beautiful. They light up the sky in ways that you just don't normally see. The skies have been very uh, overwhelmed with electric blue skies during the solar minimum, and I think that's why we're seeing so many electric blue clouds is because of the solar minimum. Beautiful halo. Once again, we're seeing these on a daily basis. Sent in by Suzanne of Sweden. I run this through a different filter because I noticed something at the 5 o'clock position. And you can see it better in this filter. What That right there is a classic lens flare taken with an iPhone. It's got the umbrella look to it that surrounds a perfect sphere. This right here is what I noticed. It stayed sta uh, stationary. Dark spot right there at the 5 o'clock position. Right there. See that? Don't know what that is. I see a lot of these halos, in fact, pretty much on a daily basis anymore, but I don't normally see that. So something interesting taken from Sweden by Suzanne. So once again, guys, thanks for sharing tall supercells over the Great Plains, some reaching 40 and 50,000 foot. Big fireball entering the atmosphere above the Caribbean. There's a signature right there. Like I said, if that would have been over land, that would have put on a spectacular show. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.